if it is an identity. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometric identities. Here is a very important question. The question is related to, is it an identity? Is the following equation an identity, state, any restrictions? Question 10. Sin x over 1 minus cos x equals to cosecant x minus cos x. Now, if it is an identity, left side should be equal to the right hand side. Let's begin from the left hand side and see whether we could equate it to the right hand side. So, starting left hand side, we get sin x over 1 minus cos x. Let us rationalize this, right? So, we can write this as sin x over 1 minus cosine x times 1 plus cos x over 1 plus cos x. You are multiplying by 1 plus cos x and also dividing by the same number. So, effectively multiplying by 1. So, that really does not change the equation. However, it helps us to write the denominator as 1 minus cos square x. You remember, if you have a minus b times a plus b, then what do you get? You get a square minus b square and that is what we are going to use here. So, now we can simplify and rewrite the expression as sin x times 1 plus cos x in the numerator and the denominator will be 1 minus cos square x. Now, what is 1 minus cos square x? Well, 1 minus cos square x is sin square x. So, we get sin x times 1 plus cos x in the numerator divided by sin square x. So, we can cancel one of the signs from here and what do we get? Well, now we get 1 plus cos x in the numerator divided by sin x. So, that gives us 1 over sin x plus cos x over sin x. Well, this is equal to 1 over sin x is cosecant x. But here we have 1 cotangent x, right, which is not equal to the right hand side. And therefore, we can say that it is not an identity. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Now, as far as the restrictions go, cos x is not equal to 1. So, we could write in this particular expression as far as restrictions are concerned, cos x is not equal to 1. Correct. So, we have shown that this is not an identity and the left side actually simplifies to cosecant x plus cotangent x rather than the given expression. Perfect. So, I hope with this you understand how do we prove that something is not an identity. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. You may also send an email on the given address in case you want to learn from me. Thanks for your time and all the best.